Level one fan. Hey, welcome to the 2015 version of Track of the Wolves with the voice of Northern Sports. Yep, that's right. Still me here in the new year. It's Ben Root. Time to talk, or take rather, a look back at uh, last week's competition for your Northern Wolves. As Wax Arena was rocking Friday and Saturday with hoop squads welcoming in the new year and welcoming in Winona State and Upper Iowa University. Checking on the women, Northern had to battle through an off night Friday in a clash of one loss teams just surviving against the Warriors 50-48 to the final. NSU shot only 35% from the field and went 1 of 10 from three-point land, but their defense held strong and kept Winona State to a season-low point total. Rachel Krogman led Northern with a season-best 22 points, despite having a season-low five rebounds. City Stotesbury helped out with eight points and eight boards, and Megan Mutchler finished with seven points and eight rebounds as well. Next night, many expected a cakewalk against the Peacocks, but Upper Iowa University played some stout defense and led Northern by four points at break time. Wolves finished the game strong, though, and took it by 10, 68-58, extending their home winning streak now to 24 games in a row. Krogman wound up with a double-double this time, 16 points, 13 rebounds, and seven of those on the offensive end, and she added in four assists for good measure. Devin Brecky connected for a season-high 12 points, and Stotesbury ended up with 11 points and a season-high nine rebounds, coming up just shy of the double-double herself. After a 36% shooting in the first half, well, Northern would clean things up in the second half, hitting at a 58% clip after the break. Ladies are now 7-1 in conference, two games up on St. Cloud State University and MSU Moorhead in the North Standings. As for the men, Northern held Winona State's offense to a season-low point total on the way to a lopsided 74-51 victory Friday. Warriors came in averaging about 74 points a game and shooting roughly 45% on the season, but they hit at only a 36% mark at Wax Arena. Northern was plus 10 in rebounding, gave up only four offensive rebounds, on 34 missed shots in the game. Winona was 3 of 20 from long distance, and SU ended up 13 of 25 from out there. Ty Storston went 4 for 5 from deep, ended up with 19 points. Sky Warwick hit 5 of 10 from beyond the curve, going for 15 points, and Seth Bashan sucked 13 points and secured 9 rebounds. Mitch White and Darren Paterka, meanwhile, set career highs with 6 assists apiece. Meanwhile, Saturday, Northern men held a second straight foe to a season-low point total, this time getting a victory over Upper Iowa University, 80-67. Wolves were down 11 in the first half before turning things around and finishing with yet another come-from-behind victory while down by double figures. Peacocks hit only 33% of their shots in this one, and SU knocked them down at a 50% rate. Northern was 9 of 22 from yard, and they were plus 19 on the glass. Bashan led the team with 15 points, 8 rebounds. Storston had 14 points. Paterka with 10 points and a career-high 8 rebounds, and Warwick dropped in 10 as well. And as you guys are now 6-2 in the NSIC, they sit a game behind Moorhead in the north, two games up on both Minot State and Minnesota Crookston at 4-4 four and four each. Finally, down in Mesa, Arizona, Kayla Sproles highlighted the NSU swim squad's performance at the Citrus Classic. Sproles took first place in the 100 backstroke and 50 freestyle in that 11-team meet. NSU's trip also saw Caitlin Rhodes grab second in the 200 butterfly and third in the 300, uh, 500 freestyle. Rather, As for the relays, team secured a third place finish in the 400 freestyle relay with a group of Rhodes, Sproles, Eliza Jacob, and Brianna Iverson. And they took fourth in the 400 medley relay thanks to a team composed of Jacob, Rhodes, Sproles, and Jamie Fuse. Well, that's a look at last week's action. We'll talk more northern sports in mere moments right here on this edition of Tracking the Wolves. NCAA championships are something special. Filled with memories we will carry with us for the rest of our lives. We ask that you cheer hard for your institutions. Acting responsibly and courteously towards those around you. In the spirit of sportsmanship, enjoy the game and let's provide our student athletes, coaches, officials, and fellow fans the respect they deserve. Welcome back to this week's Tracking the Wolves and uh, your voice, the Wolves, with you here, of course, Ben Root once again and uh, talking some uh, basketball on this episode of Tracking the Wolves. And we're uh, joined by two of the ladies from the uh, women's team here, uh, Devin Brecky and Paige Wittoshik, joining us on this edition. Uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah, yeah. Very, very talkative uh, here. No. Um, <laughs> well, uh, we get a junior and a sophomore, and uh, we'll talk about that considering uh, you two are, you know, teamed up with a slew of seniors here uh, in a little bit. but. Uh, 
First up, you both come in from different places. Uh, Devin here from uh, Wagner and Lionel Lakes for Paige. What kind of brought the two of you to, you know, kind of in between here in uh, Aberdeen? Uh, st start off, uh, Devin can go first since you're the junior. Well, for me, it was just because, you know, home state. I wanted to be closer to home. And I had a couple other offers other places, but this one just seemed like the right fit for me. Were they similar, like D2? Yep, or? D2. Okay. Yep. Um, how about you, Paige? Um, for me, I knew I wanted to play in this conference. And then my neighbor, Emily Beckin, played here before. And I heard great things. So I thought I'd try it out, too. Sounds good. Um, I always like to find out, uh, especially if you're from other areas, what uh, your food preferences are. Um, Paige, uh, out in Lionel of Lakes, what's a good place to eat there or maybe in uh, Twin Cities since it's so close? Um, there's a lot of options, uh, yeah. a lot favorite of variety. Go-to place or um, my favorite? That's it's hard to say. I love Chipotle. Okay. I do miss that. Which is better than Qdoba, by the way. It is. No, I nothing against Qdoba. <laughs> I <in the> agree. Town. <laughs> I don't want to get banned or something. Um, what about you, Devin, for Wagner or, I don't know what, Yankton or something down there? I don't know. Wagner, there's not much. I, I, got, a, I got a nice little two spurs is what it's called. But okay. yeah. I'm going to say home probably in Wagner. In yeah. This place. Um, going from high school to uh, playing for Coach Fred and comparing them to your high school coaches, um, what was the biggest difference uh, for you going from Wagner to here and, you know, uh, going under – Learning from Coach Fred and his style and everything. Well, we have a lot of plays. You know, in high school, we just kind of really ran motion, where now we ran a play every single time down the floor. That was the biggest difference for me. And, of course, the, the speed of the game was different. Is that a uh, pretty similar adjustment for you, Paige, especially yep. being, you know, guard and everything? Uh, a lot more memorization, for sure. Okay. Do you, do you prefer to have the set system kind of that you're in right now or do you like to have the flexibility of uh you know hey just go run something figure something out at first i thought i wouldn't be a fan of it but i learned that i do really like it so it's uh, worked well here uh, yep. this season especially um you know both of you started as true freshmen too for coach fred which is something we're not seeing this year because uh, you know you got three seniors and the two of you um were either of you surprised uh, getting out there and starting your first year honestly i could say i was I thought there was a lot more um, girls in front of me than there was, but I mean, I was happy with it, so I wasn't complaining. Yeah, how about for you, Paige? I'm the same as Devin, I would say. Okay, and uh, you know, Devin, you had to deal as well with some uh, injuries this past uh, year or so, some back injuries and everything. Um, was that the toughest thing you've had to kind of adjust to uh, here this you know last few years in college? Yeah, I'd say so. And never had to deal with pain in high school, and then once I get here, <laughs> it's completely different. So. Are you, is it all pretty much past you, or? Um, no, I still have back issues, but um, just have to deal with it. Kind of grin and bear it. Yep. Um, what's been the main challenge for you, Paige, in uh, in college? Um, none that I can really think of. I've really liked my time here. <laughs> I can't <laughs> complain. Everything going all right uh, school-wise for both of you? I know you're still, are you still deciding on your major? Or? No, I did decide. Okay, what are we going for? Business marketing. Business marketing, okay. Yep. And uh, in biology, right? Yep. Um, is there something that drew you to biology or? Just always kind of had an interest in it, I guess. Okay. But so far it's going good. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, now two of you, like we mentioned earlier, the only two non-starting, uh, non-seniors that are starting with uh, the trio uh, Mutzler, Krogman, and Stotesbury. Uh, what are those three like off the court? They're awesome. They yeah, they're wonderful. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we always have a good time with them. Do they talk a lot of basketball, or is it always just kind of you guys thinking of other stuff? Um, well, like off the floor, I don't know. I think we, we get enough basketball sometimes that it's nice to just talk about other stuff and have a good time. Um, as far as on the court, um, for each of you, which one, if, if it's one of them, maybe it's uh, somebody else or something that's kind of uh, helped you the most um, as far as your on-court play? How about you, Paige? Is it one of them or maybe Hop Shield or somebody else? Or? Probably Kara. Kara's helped me a ton with learning plays and just learning the system. Does she, uh, could she outrun you? Oh. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Try guarding her. It's not <laughs> say, that's going to be a test to, to guard. Yeah. I mean, that'd be a good, uh, you know. She's quick. Good, good test for you in practice and everything. And... Um, as far as, uh, what about for you, Brecky? Who's kind of helped you out? Well, I remember coming in freshman year. I was at the three position, which is Megan Mutual, 
and I remember like one of those first practices I was freaking out and <laughs> she was always there on the baseline telling me what to do or what place to run so I'd say her. So Paige has the, uh, the speedy one and you get the one with the, the huge wingspan <laughs> trying to <laughs> do something again. No kidding. Um, as far as the uh, you know Sammy Smith and McKinsey Magner, a um, couple other seniors as this team is filled with them, um, kind of uh, you know McKinsey uh, getting hurt this year. Uh, what have you guys done? Is what's her spirits been? I mean, you guys kind of talk and try to uh, keep her mind off of basketball, or uh, I mean, uh, what's going on with her right now? Well, I think she's got a, a few weeks left before she's back from her knee injury, but um, I don't know. We, all I seem to ask her is, oh, when are you going to be back? How's it feeling? That's really all I ask her, which I maybe should be taking her mind off basketball. But <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, senior year, I guess you want to you know, think about it and probably anxious to get back there, I'm guessing, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, while we get set to hit the road this weekend uh, up north and um, looking at uh, the time that you've been in some of these other gyms and everything, of course, everybody likes to play at uh, the Barnett Center. Um, Paige, what's your favorite other place to go to and uh, play so far? I really like USF's gym. I remember that one being one of my favorites. But is it just a good uh, like backdrop for shooting, or like nice I layout, or I don't know. just like purple? I don't. Yeah, I, was say, I don't <laughs> want to say I like the color, but purple's kind of nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. But I like purple. I no, I just thought it was a cool gym to play in. Okay, how about you? You have a favorite, Devin? I feel like we always played pretty well at Concordia. It's not necessarily that I like it, but we play well there. Sounds good. And do uh, you have a favorite team you like to beat, or, or do we want not want to put bill billboard material up on <laughs> No <laughs> comment. <Okay. Yeah. laughs> um, last time uh, it took on mine out here in town. Um, you got a win uh, against them, but uh, Christina Bogue looks like she's been apparently – Improving week to week. Uh, I think she's up to I don't know, not quite a double double a game right now, but she's really been increasing the scoring um, after being injured early in the year and kind of you know getting a few minutes against you guys. Uh, what's the key to beating Minot a second time? Defense, I guess. Just you know, if we keep our defense up like we have been, we shouldn't have a problem. How about for you, Paige. We you just got, got a, a lot of points last time against. I think you had like four threes yeah. or something. I don't remember. Or maybe that was Mary. I don't know. I've been I putting no all idea. my stats together. So. But just coming out ready to play with some energy, I feel like that would help us a lot and being able to play throughout the entire game. And sometimes you feel it's on the road at some of these places it's tough to have as much energy because I know I've watched some of the games on that one where I was sick a couple weeks ago thanks to I'm – not, I'm not blaming you too. Yeah. But <laughs> no. Um, but uh, like some of the places like Moorhead seem like uh, hardly anybody's showing up. Is it tough to kind of get energized at those places? A little bit, just after yeah. long bus rides and then. Well, it didn't help that we all knew that we were gonna have break right after Moorhead, yeah. so. Kind of downed? Yeah, probably. You weren't looking forward to not having to run around and work out and <laughs> yeah. getting a week off. Did you guys have fun during the week or? It was all right, I mean. You guys yeah. both go back to, to hometowns or? What's that? Did you go back to your yep. hometown? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. It was nice seeing the family. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, as we get to wrapping things up here with uh, Devin Brecky and Paige Wojtaszczyk on this edition of Track of the Wolves, any special pregame routine for either of you? How about you, Dev? I don't really, you know, take some ibuprofen and <laughs> <laughs> heat the legs and stuff, and that's about it. How about you, Paige? Yeah, I don't really do anything special, just... Go out and play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not like a last shot has to go in or a... Uh, oh, that's no. always nice, yeah. too. Okay. Yeah. Um, and as we always like to ask on the show, if you had a long road trip and you're trying to kill time or you're stuck on an island or something, uh, what three items would you take between uh, a certain CD, a movie, or a book? Um, you can choose, you know, all three movies, whatever you want. What would you choose there, Devin? Probably movies. What? what I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> Just movies. <laughs> yeah, name at least one. Um, yeah. Step Brothers, maybe. I was just that was just on TV like yesterday. Yep. I haven't watched it on cable because it's. I'm sure it's edited, so. Yeah, it's, it's not. That's as good. really good. Okay, we have to see that. What about you, Paige? Probably my crocheting needle and yarn. Okay. And I really like the movie Hairspray. Hairspray. Yeah. Any music? The third. Um, I like all music. So, so yeah, you're saying the Pandora station. Everybody <laughs> says, oh, Pandora. Okay, well, that's yeah, still that. the same thing. But. All right. Well, thanks for coming on, and uh, good luck this weekend. Thank you. Thanks.
Thanks. That's uh, Paige Wotacic and Devin Brecky here on Tracking the Wolves. We'll uh, look at the schedule for this coming weekend coming up next year on this edition of Tracking the Wolves. We know you want family-friendly sporting events. Sporting events where you can be comfortable. And entertained in a positive environment. Watching great individuals and teams compete. With commitment, effort, and good sportsmanship. That's what the Division II Game Environment Initiative is about. Be a part of the excitement and find out why. These student-athletes say with pride, I chose. I chose. I chose Division II. Welcome back to Tracking the Wolves. It's now time to check the week ahead in Northern Sports and pack away this first show of 2015. This coming Thursday, the wrestling team has a road trip to Moorhead on the schedule as they compete in a duel against the Dragons there. They'll also head north to Minot State this Saturday for a another duel. Speaking of Minot, that's where the basketball teams are headed for some rim rocking action Friday. That's before the teams come back a little closer to home in Bismarck where they'll take on you, Mary Saturday. The Friday doubleheader against the Beavers gets bouncing at 6 in the evening and the games at the Marauders Place will start up at 4 o'clock there at you, Mary. Catch all the action on ESPN 1420-1071 and ESPNAberdeen.com. That's going to do it for this week's edition of Track of the Wolves. Stay up to date on the latest Northern Sports Notes. Join me again for another episode next week. And until then, as always, go Wolves. <laughs>